Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to zone your applications properly on Windows 11. So you guys probably know that Windows 11 has a lot new docking slash zoning um, features for your applications. So just example is you guys can see over here before it, it never really had anything built in, but you could still do left, right um and, and things like that i think you could do like a quarter like small up here down here top left top right bottom left bottom right All right but now they have a lot more different features where oops, let me show you guys so you know you can do the whole left and then the top bottom so the old windows 10 didn't have this but you could still do it by pressing the windows key and now this uh windows 11 also allows for this multiple column one right um, which is really nice so now you know the issue is what if these zones aren't sufficient enough for you you know what if you have like a really big screen and you need custom layouts and you know just you want to put things where you want them and not these predefined places okay so now this is where fancy zones comes in right it's called it's from the power toy settings right so you want to the way to get that is you want to go to the Microsoft Store, search up Microsoft Power Toys. So this application is by Microsoft, so it's not like a third-party developer or something, right? Uh, it's straight from Microsoft. So you want to download it. It does have a lot more other features also, which I will be going over in another video. But this one I'm just going to be talking about in depth on the zonings. So let's put this to the side and let's talk more about this. So once you have this installed and set up, um, it, it might take a couple minutes. I don't know why it takes kind of that long, but yeah, it might take a couple minutes to install. So we want to go to fancy zones over here and make sure you have this enabled. So now over here, you can do the launch layout editor over here. It will show you your layouts that you know, you can create custom ones or the ones that are already provided. So these are the built-in templates that it comes with, with the no layout, focus, columns. They even have rows, which is interesting. Grid, priority grid. And this is a custom one that I created. Let's just change it up. All right. Um, so I want to make this like that. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of like messing about, just putting some weird layout that you know probably no one would ever really use right and let's add another screen three let's add another one four let's make three all the way to the bottom all right for some reason okay i got it one last one all right five will go right here all right so interestingly you have to hold the mouse a little on the inside because once you hold it on the edge it doesn't really work that's why it was messing up for me you kind of have to hold it on the inside to be able to expand it and make it small all right so now we have i have my layouts done save and apply you know this layout you can see is not available in any other ones so now let's close this up okay so now we have the layout so now, if I want to put an application, so let's say I want to use this Windows uh, Store application. I want to dock it in one of those um, zones that I created. The way to do that is over here, you can set it. Hold Shift key to activate zones while dragging, right? And then zones appearance. You can do custom colors or whatever you want. Let's do, let's make it like red okay inactive white number okay that's fine the number color let's do uh yeah sure white is fine or whatever i did okay windows behavior uh this one you can keep to default just see which ones um works for you but basically once you hold the top and are able to drag it you want to hold shift so you guys can see in the back is where the zones are so that one was docked in there. I'll dock this one here. This I'll dock in. Okay, this one I can't dock for some reason. But let's open up another application. Let's open that one down there. Um, weird, I can't do the task manager. 
maybe because it's like a built-in application which doesn't allow for it okay I have this one I have a Visual Studio code open and let's just see one last one which um, sure I have this one all right so now you can, can see over here I mean obviously this is a really weird format especially for the application that I have open but you can see that the docking works perfectly the way it's supposed to and then you know you can do different things with it as well you can just go through the settings over here the different windows behaviors and windows switching you know there, there's a bunch of different options over here that you can you know just mess around with so that being said um that's pretty much it you know this is pretty much all the all um you need to know about these custom zones on windows 11 right uh, let me know what your guys thoughts are if you, these you know if you think they'll be really useful for you, let me know what you guys think. And, you know, if you guys have another application that you guys use, you know, do let me know. I'll definitely love to check it out. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And peace out.